Hey guys, it's your boy Mark here in uh, South Douglas County. Over 6,500 square feet, over five acres, no HOA. I take great pride in finding you guys some of the best homes, new resale, acreage, HOA, non HOA. And I do get hit up quite a bit um, from people that are asking for the non HOA living. I think that comes from, you know, people that maybe have lived in HOAs, um, people that have relocated from, you know, some big cities and just want some peace, quiet, and not to be told what to do, you know, with their house. Um, and so I try to find them from time to time for you. And as you can see, this one uh, is pretty special. It's like a custom home. It's priced currently just under 950000 Um When you're talking about five acres, this much kind of land, well manicured, kind of a custom home. Anything over or under a million dollars is, is pretty special. So um, I wanted to take you through here. Of course, if you are interested, I will represent you as your buyer agent during this process and help you with negotiations. I think I'll have some room for negotiations on this one, whether that be help with closing costs, help to buy down your rate, or if you like to have some money taken off the price. I do call myself the king of real estate here in greater Atlanta uh, because I've been doing this for 21 plus years. So have my own real estate firm, along with our agents and of course, um, Kurt, so we like to, you know, bring you guys some amazing, amazing opportunities. As you can see on this one, it's truly, truly custom. It's three side of brick, three car garage. And I just want to show you a little bit, some of the features, um, before we head inside. So they've added a brick staircase here with a nice rail. Now I just want to give you some ideas from the front for people that are looking for the very very flat backyard this won't do it for you but if you want the five acres usable land you can now this is this is still your land back here you can remove some of these trees um looks like you know almost like a natural spring or you know walking trails and stuff like that because it's kind of giving you that that forest vibe right you can see it's very very well manicured all the retaining walls here but if I was to put a pool on this property, I probably would do it here in this corner. Maybe a kind of half moon shape um, infinity pool. I know a lot of times when people um, buy homes with one acre or more land, they are looking to potentially, you know, build a pool. So I would utilize this side of the property to do that. Kind of like a waterfall feature. And the uh, infinity pools are ones where the water runs off the edge. Um, but wait till you see the inside of this house. I did a little preview before, you know, started turning some of the lights on and things like that. And I was like, okay, yeah, our great homes ATL audience will really, really like this. Um, so I pulled out the camera and said, let's go. <laughs> Reminder guys, um, go to greathomesatl.com. We have our lender referrals for you. Look at how beautiful this land is. Um, they have the $12,500 grant program. They do VA, uh, VA loans, FHA, conventional, W-2, 1099, bank statement loans. So we have you covered. Just hit get pre-approved at greathomesatl.com. You can see this is the front of the property. It has a brick mailbox there and there's absolutely nobody across the street from you now it is a you know a regular paved street it's more rural out here but you're still only maybe about seven minutes to like the public shopping center maybe 15 minutes to target and um what else is down there crumble cookie starbucks expressway pretty much like that whole area so the mall so this douglasville does have a, their own mall which is really nice this location will probably put you about 50, 50 minutes, I would say, 50 minutes to downtown Atlanta, uh, maybe 35, 40 minutes to the airport. Um, but as you can kind of hear, if you're looking for that quiet, peaceful, 
type of living, this would be it. And I'll try to take a look on this side too. I want to give you guys, a lot of our clients end up relocating or come from military bases overseas. People are tired of renting here in greater Atlanta. Um, so we have, we, you know, we, we have all kinds of buyers throughout literally the, the country and the world. But as you can see, it's just a beautiful backdrop here. Um, with that brick and stone, the lanterns on the edge. You can see the um, lights here on the corner of these, this beautiful front porch. And like I said, the details I'm looking for around this price point as you're approaching 950,000 or million dollars, you're looking for where is the money spent? And I think you'll see it throughout here, but it also starts with an actual stone, um, covered front porch it's a windy day that's why <laughs> it opened up um the trim work in the covered front porch right the lantern style lights and so you could do rocking chairs here you could do your benches things like that and this would be your view from your front porch all right thank you wind you opened the door for me let's head inside I'll put some more lights on here too. It has the uh, chandelier, or uh, what do you call it? The, yeah, chandelier here in the two-story foyer. So obviously when you first walk in, you are, I mean, it just screams elegance. You see all the glistening hardwood floors. You can see out uh, into the great room, which will have the two-story uh, great room slash uh, family room. Wrought iron up the staircase, wood up the staircase, and I'm going to um, bring the camera to the, the top here and you'll see not only one, but two catwalks, right? You see the columns and then look at the double tray with the uh, chandelier. Very, very elegant. Double glass and wood front doors, and then you head into your dining room again with the column archway look to it. You'll see a lot of architectural details. It's not boxy. It's not squared. You'll see lots of curved uh, walls of windows, different shutters, different window uh, features in here. And of course, even the trim in this um, column look. So you have the dining room. Now this is, you know, when I talk about resale and I walk you through, the, one, the two things I don't want you to get fixated on are um, wall colors and if there is wallpaper, because those are things that are your personal touch. If you want to keep it the color it is, if you don't, it's you that can do added trim, shiplap, you know, different things to the wall. You're looking for the bones of the house. This is a very, very custom and well-made house. You could just tell as I, you know, walked it. Of course, you'll get your private home inspector and we have those uh, for you as well. But beautiful dining room, trim along here, shutters, uh, coffer ceilings with the crown molding inside and a lovely, uh, like again, chandelier here in the dining area. We wrap it around and here is your front flex room. A lot of people will use this as a conversation room, a cocktail room, a um, home office will be very popular in here. And again, it has the transom window with the um, overextended uh, shutters here. Shutter kind of, um, you know, uh, they open up right here. I'll show you. Can you see? Just to show you the light that comes in here as well. Very, very nice. And you have the um, window screens in as well for bugs and stuff like that. As you can see, it's a really, really nice room. Again, I want you to notice the details in it. When I'm looking at anything, probably I would say above 750,000, all the way up to I've sold houses in the you know tens of millions, you're looking for the details, the oversized baseboards, the, um, not just like a regular LED light, you're looking for actual lighting and then you're looking for things like this built-in um, area for a bookcase. And it's wired for cable here as well. Now, 
as we enter into what we will call the great room. I don't think just calling it a family room does a room like this justice. You have this tremendous backdrop, as you can see with the trees here. You do have a fireplace. You have built-in bookcases. You have the added trim and build out above the fireplace. And um, as we look out the back window here, again, when I talked about not just regular windows, this is a curved wall here. And you're looking out into your backyard. So again, if this is all your land, five plus acres, I think it's like five and a half. You could remove some of these trees. You could add staircases and then do gazebos back there. You could do um, koi ponds. You can fence it in if you want, if you have um, dogs or any kind of pets, right? And then you kind of saw when I first started how I would use that if you were going to put a pool um, back on that right-hand corner. We flip it around. And again, I want you to take the elegance. What I would do is probably, again, lighting is also a personal choice from the last owner of the home. There's probably the person that built this home, either bought it from somebody that built this custom or was actually the custom client themselves. Um, but I probably would add a more dramatic chandelier. That's something we did when we built our house. Or you could do like a brighter more industrial size ceiling fan to just give this room even more light to it. But you can see the double walkways across, which I'm excited to show you when we get upstairs. Um, and then the details and the uh, wrought iron heading up the staircase. Now, as we head into the kitchenette and kitchen, again, look at the details and the trim work. The hardwoods continue. And then this is where you would put your um, kitchenette area uh, table. Now you could always cap this. You could keep it open. You could add like double chairs. You could build out something in this area if you wanted to, but it's wide. It's open. You have uh, double doors here. Let's see what's in here. I think it's the pantry. Yep. Double door pantry. Again, look at the details in the doors above the doors and then you have a very, very nice and large kitchen. It takes up the back corner of the house, so you know it's it's a really, really good size. Not your standard island. You can see it's got uh, probably granite here, different color granites here. I love how they did the accented color. The black hair looks really, really nice. Great details in it. And then you have um, plenty of cabinets here in the island. And if you'll notice, this is your sink right here overlooking your covered back porch with light coming in but they also added a uh, plumbing system right here for another uh, smaller sink this is where you might like when you're working on um, you know creating cocktails for your guests right it's just a little wash off area but really really well thought of i love to show you like i said the custom home features pendant lights above it that start working around for the appliances. Beautiful Frigidaire side-by-side, -side. French doors here, microwave built into the cabinets, the little accented glass, the beautiful kind of brown um, backsplash, but the nice addition there, different, giving it kind of a different look at the base, right? Plenty of outlets you're seeing Phone jacks, you're seeing cables if you want to put like a little TV or something in that corner. The beautiful vent hood. Um, this is, again, a more rural area, so you're probably on septic and um, all electric. But loving this um, stove, you can see it's five burner. The framed out tile within here. You can see the stove. Oh, I haven't seen one of these before. Oh, it's like maybe like a little warming area here. Put your um, buffing pans and stuff like that in here. You have an outlet even inside the island. Let's take a look at a few. This is, this is a really, really clean, really well-maintained house. I mean, talk about a serving area, right? Washing dishes, dishwasher. But looking at all, all the surf, uh, serving areas here with the added light, pendant light here, looking out. And this is where I said I probably would do 
my pool down there if I was so inclined. While we're over here, let's look at your covered enclosed uh, back porch. Again, I want you to look at the details. So beautifully um, maintained. You got a ceiling fan out here. You have a light. You have the rug and you have all the screens. You see that they added some nice lights out here that light up really nice. And again, if you just listen, right? You're hearing the birds. I'm sure definitely <laughs> insects, things like that. Um, it would not surprise me if you're sitting out here with a cup of coffee and you see a family of deer, right? Rabbits, of course, squirrels, things like that. So if you're a nature loving person, you will love this. I mean, you are not going to get the sun beating down on you because you have these trees. Of course, you could always remove these trees. And you do have usable land back here. So, again, you could do a gazebo. You could do some stairs back here. I think I mentioned at the beginning, but this is a four-level house. Super, super quiet. And they have a whole pathway. So when you have guests coming over, hey, come on in. You want to come out, come in in the back. You'll see there is a basement entrance as well. Come up the staircase. You can cook out and do all those things at a house like this. All right. This up. I want to show you the side entry three-car garage. Like this. And you can see plenty of space. And again, it's, this has been, uh, had epoxy put on it. That. Uh, against that wall right there you see that box that's an irrigation system you have two garage door openers if you just wanted to ride around the community again there's it's just regular you know beautiful well-maintained homes lots of long driveways lots of people out here want to have their privacy so you could take a golf cart and ride around if you wanted to but again nine hundred fifty thousand and under you're talking about, or over even, you're talking about like the beadboarding trim work, fully painted, epoxy, a couple um, garage door openers as well. This is your security system. All right. This is, going, this is still level one, guys. As you can see in the distance, you're going to have a downstairs bedroom with a full bath. Again, I want you to notice the trim works. Over here, this will be your coat closet. And then this is uh, beautiful. Look at the details in that mirror. Like hand carved, right? Here with the sink, granite countertop. The tile work. Toilet. Shower with a connecting door to the bedroom. You can see fully tiled shower. I love the accented trim tile. And of course, you could always frame and do frameless glass or something on here. And then here is the bedroom down here. I want you to notice again, it has the closet, has the windows with the trim above it. You have, I think the faux white um, blinds and then double doors, a very, very elegant downstairs bedroom where I'll close this a little bit so you can kind of see, but you could do the bedroom set different ways. You could put your probably a queen or a full size bed here or go, Probably queen on this side as well. You have plenty of outlets. Put your flat screen TV here, maybe a dresser underneath. And whoever gets this bedroom, whether it's guest or your child or whoever, you know, wants to use it, you can see there's still pebbles and pavers down there. It's going to have a really, really lovely downstairs bedroom. I'm find the line of lights here. Yeah, just so you can see, there's lights along this hallway. All right, let's head upstairs because when we go down, there's going to be actually two levels on the uh, the basement level. It's pretty, pretty cool when I previewed it. The top of the stairs, you get a little preview here to the left. It will be your primary suite, which is truly your primary suite. We'll look forward to showing you that. Here's your washroom. Let's see if there's a light in here. Yep. Got your cabinets, washer machine, dryer. I'll confirm if these are staying or not. Plenty of space still here for your laundry baskets. Very, very nice. 
start looking at, I wanna go from this angle. Let's go from this angle. So you have lights here, halogen lights here in the ceiling. You can always switch those out to LED. And this is a pretty cool catwalk. Catwalks are when you can see, you have a kind of a stairwell um, or hallway, I should say, um, that's open on both sides. So again, look at the details in the wrought iron and the sheer, just amazing views from up here. You turn now to the left and how elegant is this, right? Again, the tray ceilings, the double tray, you have the crown molding inside and just such an amazing entranceway in this foyer area. So I'll take you through to these bedrooms and then we'll walk through to those. We saw one bedroom so far. There's a total of six in here. Here is bedroom number two. Turn some lights on for you. Notice again, tray here. Probably could fit. I would, you could do a king, but I probably would put a queen with one night stand. Again, accented paint color, but if you want to switch that out or switch out the colors of the whole room, you can. But it's very neutral colors with that pop of color. Flat screen TV if you want. You're up high here. Here again, this is pretty much a four level house. The trim around the doors. Walk-in closet, your standard, what you would see in a guest or children's room. Granite, double vanity, these beautiful cabinets. Again, you could always prime these and stain them a different color if you wanted to. Tile down here. Toilet, fully tiled. Oh, I love the details in this shower. And the privacy door with the light. Towels and linens, grab them before you go into the shower. Bedroom number three, again, notice the details. How many times in my tours, right? You just see the flat ceiling and you might see one little squared off tray. The angles of these walls give it that elegance. And again, queen size bed, I would say. Flat screen TV, dresser. You could probably do a couch or a love seat here if you wanted to. Walk-in closet. And again, I wanted to show you the views from out front. Gorgeous, gorgeous curb appeal. You can see that's a driveway. House is way back there. Nothing across from you. And how lovely is this? So this is that Jack and Joe bathroom. Both of these bedrooms will share. But look at this. Walking into bedroom number four. The views, right? The huge picturesque window with that covered front porch that goes the whole length. Now we enter into bedroom four. We have so two entrance ways to get into this uh, bedroom, which was at the top of the stairs and here, over here as well, the double windows. The uh, walk-in closet. There's a light in here. Let's see, I'll show you. Super, super nice, right? You could do it a few ways. Most people probably put their bed here. You know, put your smaller TV there if you wanted to. You could always put your bed underneath this wall and do it on this wall as well. This bedroom has its own bathroom. Again, the beautiful cabinetry, the nice high... Uh, sink and cabinet. Let's see what we have in store for in here. Fully tiled again with the very, very shampoos. Very, very nice. And now we head to the uh, primary suite. Double doors. And here we go. The details, guys. You have a whole column area. An area to put things like faux plants or real plants or bookshelves, candles. And then you have this, the sitting area. You see the built-in bookcases. I'm going to shut this so you can kind of see. Tiled. Um, big slabs for the electric fireplace. Built-in bookcases. 
the double trays again again custom this is the things that you're looking for well worth i i know my people from new york la miami are like you're kidding me this is under a million dollars this is under two million dollars absolutely a house like this in new york california will be running you about five six million dollars minimum minimum 900 i think it's 49 888 or something like that but you know as the ceo of my own real estate firm with 41 plus years of experience your boy is going to negotiate an amazing a deal for you right put your bed between these two you got windows here or you can do your bedroom set here and then you know you have the double door heading into your um primary bath which we'll look at in a second but when you close those doors you have a really nice big wall to work with here so if you wanted to do your bed here or you could put it between here you have lights above and you could do like a tv above your fireplace if you wanted to they also make these wonderful custom beds now with like a cabinet at the end where the tv rises from inside of it pretty pretty cool that i've seen on some shows double doors heading into your primary bath and as you'll see, I mean, great, great details. A fully um, glass entrance here for your shower. Again, the cutout here, the bench, double shower heads. We look across, and here we go. A fully, again, column look for your big jacuzzi tub. With that picturesque window, nobody's going to be able to look in, but you do have blinds here. Candles, your books, right? How they have it. I love that. Relax, unwind, accept the crazy. And then here are not just standard vanities, right? A wraparound L-shaped vanity here. A wrapped around L-shaped vanity here. I think the light is here. So you can see. What a setup, right? Love this tile work here, again, in this private water closet. And then I think for a lot of couples, a lot of people out there, not maybe necessarily the dream closet, I would say the size, the island, but you might want to do some more customization on these walls. But I love the these kind of snake lights, right? Track lighting, the granite countertop. The areas to put your shoes inside of the center island. And so they must have had a lot of clothes that they had, you know, hanging up dress pants and jeans and however you want to. You do have these ledges, too, if you want to pile up your um, sweaters and things like that. But, of course, you could build this out however you want. Put your own customization. And then you have the uh, dressing room mirror as well. So... Very, very uh, elegant home here in South Douglas County. Very well thought out. I want to hear it in the comments. I want your feedback. I want you to go to greathomesatl.com and start the process with us. We are 28 minutes in, and we've just only gotten through two levels. We have two more to go. This is a big house, right? Very, very, very luxurious. What I like about this basement as well, and I'll show you from this angle, is how many times you go into a basement and it's like literally you open up a door and you don't even know it's there. You think it's maybe a closet. It's very, very clear that this is going to lead down to another level. I love that accented blue actually as well. I probably would change out the red personally. But you got hardwoods, again, with the wrought iron as you enter into level three. Notice the hardwoods continue. Notice the trim work up at the top. You have a hallway here. So if you wanted to, you could put a beautiful bench, conversation room. You could build out a bar here, right, if you wanted to. Because what's in here, Mark? Another finished room. Now, this is what they call a storm. If you ever had uh, almost like a panic room, too. Look at how big it is. 
So if you ever had a, God forbid, a tornado coming through or a hurricane, a really bad storm, put the whole family in here, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to be like Dorothy and go to the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you're going to close this door. You know, you could add um, one of those steel doors too, but it is a, um, what they call a storm room. Here's again. I know personally, I would, you know, you could do a pool table in here. I would change out this light, you know, to do a nice long pool table here. Now, you also could make this into a sports bar if you wanted to build out bar on either one of these walls. You can make it a home office. But what do we have as we enter through here? The dream of a lot, a lot of people, a theater room. This is where your equipment would go. And then here you go, guys. You already have it with the design in here. You have the projection screen and the projector right here. So however you want to do movie theater row, movie theater seats. You want to do a movie theater row of seats here or risers, another row here. You can do the love sack sectional. You have surround sound throughout here. You've got already the design in the ceiling with the lights. I probably would change these out to more like um, LED lights. But they are on, as you can see, it's already set up for the dimming of the lights. What's through here? A workout room. Again, tray ceilings. They got the mirrors already on here. They already got the wood, the shiplap. Mirrors over here, TV in here. Your Peloton, your gym equipment. You want to do racks of um, dumbbells. Don't have to go up to an attic. Change your air filter right here. Everything is so well thought out. Because why? It's a custom home. A half bath down here. So pedestal sink, toilet. Mirror, even that, you need that for moisture and the light. Fantastic. A lot of my home tours, a lot of finished basements. This would, this would be amazing to a lot of people. And this would, this is, this is all you really need. <laughs> but when I turned the corner and I saw what was to come, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Um, storage here. More uh, furnaces and um, hot water heaters and things like that. But look what you guys got. Set up for another washroom. <laughs> Refrigerator. Handyman stuff. Like, you have a whole shop out here if you wanted to. I don't even know what this is. Is this like a... Water line or something? Yeah. Taking the worry out of water. Rain soft. Wow, this is cool. Maybe it collects like rainwater or something. You could recycle some stuff. That's pretty cool. But are you ready to walk around the corner? Number one, you got this hallway, right? You can put a nice mirror, piece of artwork. How many houses have you seen where you have two great rooms? Wood staircase. There's a light here. This is back that way. A wood, wrought iron staircase, another great room. This is under a million dollars. Surround sound. Tile. Zoning. Another Honeywell. Guys, this becomes the in-law suite the party room, the gathering room, <laughs> right? And what they did is they put outlets here so you could, you know, put your TV here if you wanted to. I probably would close this off and then, you know, put my TV here or I put my TV on this wall. Probably how I would do it is, you know, do a um, maybe a half moon sectional or couch here oversized couch here and I put my TV on either one of these you know walls if I was to do it 
You're probably asking what is behind this door. <laughs> You're like, really, Mark? You've got to be kidding me. Look at how high these ceilings are. Um, I mean, you could convert this to like, you know, a garage type of door if you wanted to put like a boat or something back here. But how many people out there have ever wanted to like build out a studio or a podcast studio or anything like that? Fully insulated. You could just add your drywall. And now you have like a podcast room area. You're again, we already saw there's a, a, a theater. You don't even have to put a TV here if you don't want to. You could make this into the pool table area. I mean, there's so many things. Do you see what's in the distance? Again, the beautiful framed out area, the surround sound in here. Yes. It's another kitchen. So, you have the microwave. You've got the refrigerator. Remember, there was actually another refrigerator in that area. You had the sink, you had the dishwasher. The only thing you're missing is um, like a cooktop, an oven. And you know what they sell now. Cuisinart, Ninja, uh, Oyster. I mean, they sell the bigger ovens that are like air fryers, convection ovens, right? You obviously could fit that somewhere here. And then you could also do the induction cooktop. Remember, this is electric. It's a rural area. So, I mean, you put the nice, you know, bigger convection oven. You even see the ones with two doors. You could bake the pizza. You could do your um, chicken wings. You could air fry. You could put a popcorn machine in here if you want to. You get a beautiful stonework. <laughs> you have the area for, like, a nice little table. You could even do a built-out kind of bench here. You could put a bar over here. You have the pendant lights, or you could cap it, decide how you want to do with it. And then you have a full bedroom and bath down here. So, again, you could put out a window seat here. Queen size or full size bed. Put your TV on this wall or on this wall. You have your closet. Walk-in closet, you can build that out if you want. Just to give you a little kind of preview over here. We talked about that walkway. Look at guys, they finished it with stone and tile out here, pavers. I'll try to walk out there if I get some time left. And then of course the full bath. Don't forget on that third level, one on the fourth level, it had that half bath as well. Again, not, they could have cut corners and just put like the, the fitting, right? The white fitting here where you just pop, pop it in. Fully tiled, the accented tile here. Granite, toilet, mirror, light. This house is purely move-in ready. And then you could put whatever little touches, you know, you want to. I want you again to notice they didn't cut corners. Trim work all around here. Let's look out back. Remember, you have a covered um, deck. Look at how high above it is. The camera does not do, do, do it justice. It's probably about 16, 18 feet up. Again, they didn't just put the concrete here, right? Put tile. They got the pavers. And again, that would be a perfect area for pool. But if you get in, you wanted to um, do like the infinity pool here and have it fall off the ledge here. You could grade this out, flatten it out, and put some more sitting area here. But just take it in. Like I said, you're probably going to see deer back here. Here's the walkway pavers. That's that entrance to that where you maybe could do a studio or something like that. So a little grass patch here. And then you have levels. I think that's a propane tank too, over there too. They probably have some, or maybe that's for the rain thing. I'm not sure. But, you know, they even thought about, you know, adding the cinder blocks. I'm going to sit down the ledge here. You wanted to have create more stairs for another access point i mean how many access points do you really need this is really really well thought out 
So again, if you decide to create a, a little theater studio or a podcast room, or you want to make some money, right? And say, hey, I have a podcast studio or a music studio. People don't even have to come through your house with the double doors to lead in there and however you finish it. But again, it, the water runs away from the house and it's usable space. You are that two, three million dollar buyer. Well, you just saved two to three, you know, one to two million dollars by getting at this price point, right? You're the person that you're maybe the one point five million dollar buyer. You literally don't have to do anything to this house unless you wanted to put your own paint touches on or anything like that. But do you see how high <laughs> it's a four level home? I have not seen anything like this at this price point. Even how they thought about it for the water, right? When it rains, they buried off the gutters. So it runs out away from the house. You can see where the it comes out. And so, like I said, this is not a brand new house. You could, you, you could tell by the house. It's been here. It's not like probably 20 years old, but it's not brand new. And do you see mold? Do you see a ton of dirt? Do you see this area underneath here, right? Got outlet back here. You could definitely put out a grill out in this area. I want you to think when you're entertaining, you can have people come through your main entrance or you could say, listen, <laughs> you could fence that off, let the dogs, you know, go do their business. Two story basement insane just so well thought out so if you've been looking at that house this would be a tremendous house to do so many things with you want to go in on it as a family you have four levels plenty of space it could be a multi-generational multi-family home everybody goes in on it together there's no hoa there's not another bill for that. You decide what you want to do with the land, right? So many hardwoods. So many details to this house. It's absolutely fantastic. All right. I'm out of breath. It's not very often that you do a four-level house. <laughs> so what are you guys going to do? You excited what you see? You uh, happy that... Great Homes ATL brought it to you. You're going to go to greathomesatl.com. Encourage you to browse it. Our quick home search feature. Our podcast. All my home tours. Link right to the YouTube channel with the extended home tours. Um, we have shows. We have newsletter signups. We have details on us and our agents with the two most important buttons. Hit get pre-approved. I guarantee you, whether you're already pre-approved, just talk to our other lenders. I think you'll be very, very impressed with the customer service and the programs that are available. Um, once we have your pre-approval or your proof of cash buyer, it could be sent by your CPA, we will do a Zoom consultation and we will discuss this house, any new home communities, condos, townhouses, resales, commercial space, land. We handle it all. And so we will have a detailed consultation via Zoom. We'll talk to you about our buyer brokerage agreement to hire us. And uh, we're going to work on your behalf as your buyer agents. If you have a home to sell here in the state of Georgia, we can do that for you as well. We typically handle the greater Atlanta area within an hour and a half, maybe an hour 45 minutes of greater Atlanta, but we're open to, depending on your situation, going further out if need be. So all we ask you to do is do that process, hit get pre-approved, send over your pre-approval, our lenders will send it over as well. If you just want to have a general consultation, we have the book consultation button. Utilize that. Get to know us. Talk about brainstorming a plan. 
We've had people that have used that, have never bought a home before. We've had people use that consultation to just get to talk to us and know us. We've had those consultations for people, like I said, in military bases, relocation buyers that don't are not familiar with the area. So we have every resource for you. We think it is a million times better than a Zillow or anything like that. We only put active listings on there. And there's so many things that are not on there, not even on Zillow, because we're the local market experts, right? There are homes that are not in the system that are found by us on a daily basis because of our relationship with builders, with the local um, you know, government agencies, what's to come, things like that. So just trust us. Believe in the process. Believe in Great Homes ATL. Our motto is welcome to the family. We treat absolutely everybody like family. Why we created Great Homes ATL is because we did not like the level of service in the real estate market, especially in the greater Atlanta area. So we created Great Homes ATL, a family brand to do things differently. We are associated with major organizations, entertainers, entertainment companies. We have so many resources for you to find the perfect property for you, whether it's your first time or your forever home or something you're looking to build. So Great Homes ATL, you're listening to Mark, the CEO. How many CEOs do you know are in these streets trying to find some of the best new home communities, resales, walk you through the process. We have educational classes. We have literally, we are ingrained in the greater Atlanta culture when it comes to every single industry and especially the real estate industry. So I look forward to seeing you on that Zoom consultation. Please no shortcuts, book the consultation or hit get pre-approved so I can see you on the pre-approved consultation. All right, guys, make it a great day and we'll talk to you soon.